Hello everyone and welcome to Hot Ridge where you come to get amazed. We all have heard of Tony Stark from Marvel, but does anyone know about the real Tony Stark? I bet someone of you did, but maybe someone not. So here I am today to tell you about Elon Musk aka the real Tony Stark. In this video, we will get to know about his companies, we will discuss that how this man managed to be the number second richest man on earth and is he capable of becoming the richest person on earth and how. So let's just start it from the beginning. A boy who was born on June 28, 1971 in Pretoria, South Africa. As a child, he was so lost in his daydreams about inventions that his parents and doctors ordered a test to check his hearing. Have some of you faced this too in your early age? I did. Musk's mother is a Canadian model and his father is a wealthy South African engineer. His mom and dad divorced when he was 10 and he spent his childhood with his brother and sister in South Africa. As a kid, Musk taught himself to code and he sold his first ever game named Blaster for about $500. And at that time, I think this was a pretty good paycheck for a kid like Elon Musk. And at the age of 17, he moved to Canada to attend Queen's University and he obtained his Canadian citizenship that year too, because he felt it would be easier to obtain American citizenship via that path. And in 1992, he left Canada to study business and physics at the University of Pennsylvania. He graduated from University of Pennsylvania and he headed to Stanford University in California to pursue a PhD in energy physics. However, his move was timed perfectly with the internet boom and he dropped out of Stanford University after just two days to become a part of it, launching his first company, Zip2 Corporation in 1995. Later on, Musk became a US citizen in 2002. In 1999, Zip2 was bought by the computer manufacturer company for about $307 million. And Musk then founded an online financial services company, X.com, which later became PayPal, which specialized in transferring money online. The online auction, eBay, bought PayPal in 2002 for about $105 billion. After this, no one was there to stop Elon Musk into investing in Tesla and SpaceX. SpaceX is an aerospace manufacturer and space transportation services company and Elon Musk is with the goal of reducing space transportation costs to enable the colonization of Mars. Now if you are wondering that how this man have so much wealth, then here is the answer. Tesla's market capitalization is more than $342 billion and SpaceX is worth about $100 billion and Elon Musk have 20.8% shares of Tesla. And it's not end yet, this man of exception has a bunch of more innovative companies too. The Boring Company is an American infrastructure and tunnel construction services by Elon Musk. And then there is OpenAI, which is an artificial intelligence research laboratory. And then there is Neuralink, which is a neurotechnology company founded by Elon Musk and others developing implantable brain machine interfaces. We have a separate video on Neuralink too, and you can watch it from the link below in the description. And do let me know if I missed any one of Elon Musk. These all businesses have gathered Elon Musk a massive fortune of $147.7 billion and I bet that if these companies continue to grow like this, then soon after he would be surpassing Jeff Bezos too and he will claim to be the richest person on earth. Musk was long convinced that for life to survive, humanity has to become a multi-planet species and he is doing everything to achieve that and his thoughts sometimes frighten us too. Musk believes that life on Earth is just the creative imagining of a super advanced civilization that is playing us for their super advanced entertainment pleasure. This argument is also known as simulation argument, first introduced by Nick Bostrom, which is an Oxford professor of philosophy. This argument states through a few steps. Step 1 is that if we look at the rate in which humans have made progress in computers simulating technology, 
if we extrapolate and keep inventing and improving at the same rate, it is entirely likely that at some point we are going to be able to simulate something that is indistinguishable from reality. Step 2 is, if humans are going to get there, then it's more than likely that someone has already done it. And step 3 is, therefore we mere models are probably part of someone else's simulation as we live our lives now. But is it really likely that we are in a game like simulation? What assumptions go into making such an argument and can we tear apart those assumptions? All these questions will be answered in another hot rush video. Till then, stay tuned and subscribe to our channel to be a part of our 1 trillion subscribers journey. I hope you won't mind giving thumbs up to this video too. We will see you with another video. Bye bye.